Erin Gray, professional beach volleyball player, and today we're going to talk about passing the short serve. In beach volleyball, since we only have two passers covering the whole court, we want to make sure that we make effective moves to the ball. We're talking today about passing the short serve. The first thing I like to do as a right side player is get into my ready position and serve receive. I want to make sure that I can move about two steps to the end line to pass the ball and about two or three steps forward to pass a short ball. I'm in a ready position, um, legs about shoulder width apart, knees bent, chest up, arms ready to move. Okay? As we're looking at our server over the, onto the other side of the court, we want to make sure that we're watching her arm, watching her hand hit the ball. A lot of servers give away the short serve by dropping their elbow a tad and coming under the ball. When I see that release from my server, I'm going to go ahead and release and get ready for the short serve. Okay, the first thing to remember when passing the short serve is to move your legs, run to the ball without your platform, okay? We always talk about being a runner first and a volleyball player second. So moving our arms and running to the ball, we're a lot quicker than trying to drag our platform forward, okay? The next thing we want to remember is to get to the short serve and beat the ball. When I say beat the ball, I mean getting down in a ready position to pass the ball before the ball gets to our arms. A lot of players will make the mistake of meeting the ball with the M, meeting the ball, and passing as it's coming down. Okay, a couple things could happen. You could time that incorrectly, and as the ball, as you're trying to meet the ball, the ball will shank off of one of your arms. Also, a lot of players make the mistake of meeting the ball and pulling out, which then pulls your pass off the net, okay? We want to keep our pass always forward. Okay, so we talk about meeting the ball. We're going to get down. Um, our outside leg's going to be up, and our inside leg's going to be down. We want to make sure that we're in this ready position before the ball comes to us. As the ball's coming to us, we want to make sure we let the ball bounce off of our arms and hold for a split second before releasing up. That will ensure that the ball stays forward in front of us so our setter can come in and make a good set. After we see that the ball has come off of our arms, we hold for a second, we're going to go ahead and push off of this back leg to pull off and make sure that we have an approach. So we're going to pass, drive back, and take two steps to get ready in a position to hit. Okay, I have professional beach volleyball player Larissa that's going to come in and demo a couple short serves. Good. Larissa made sure that she got to the ball first. She beat the ball and held her pass. Good. That time she didn't need to go to her knee and that's okay too. What she did though, when she got there, she stopped. She made sure her, her platform was there and held the pass. Good. Good. That one leg was down and then she drove back getting ready in a position to hit. Okay, that's really important to make sure that after you pass that short ball, you're pulling off and getting in a position so you can see the court and your setter has a window to set you. One more. Good. Thanks, Larissa. Okay, so when we're passing the short ball, we want to make sure, first, we're moving without our platform. Second, we're beating the ball in a low, getting down in a low position, arms out forward, outside leg up, inside knee down, okay? After we pass and hold, we want to make sure we're driving and getting ready to attack the ball. Okay, that's my tip for you. See you at the beach.